teachers role plays a very important role right from many ages but it depends on everyone how much importance has to be given uh, basically i feel a teacher comes into this profession through her heart and through her head also but that heart should come first followed by that head and uh, that will surely make a particular uh, difference because uh, if you are pushed into this profession only for money or with only head uh, it will it won't work with the students it's not a machine that you measure something you frame a design and you get product one after the other every particular sample which comes is different we need to uh, relate to that particular child and give what he wants and if a teacher is really with her heart and her head she will be successful in doing this particular vocation which she has been taken she or he well mm -hmm. logical and critical thinking is very important to bring about that particular thing from a child uh, it is useful but looking at a syllabus and uh, the textbooks which are being framed presently are not so good uh, but recently from last two years if you see even a ssc board is coming out with textbook which makes the child think and that rote learning is being removed out now the role of the teacher plays a very important role over here because textbook has been changed the teacher has to change now to see that she is really making the child think about that particular topic and here now it will not be delivering the teacher just gives a lecture the student listens and puts down it has to be a discussion it has to be a debate where the student's role will be more and the teacher's role will be to listen and to correct wherever required so i think logical and critical is on its way as teachers we need to take it forward in a proper planned way right now in this century we know what problem we are right facing that is climate change and we teach weather and climate to a child in the class and he doesn't know what it is what are what is disaster management so i feel all these things if the child is being taken to a particular area and given that experience he would be able to give out more remedies of how we can avoid that particular thing because they have in one knowledge we we shouldn't give our knowledge only to them their ideas should be heard of to be listened of maybe it can be challenging for us as elders and we might not like to take it but uh, that should now start happening it should be the reverse way and we need to give importance to what their thought their thinking process is on we need to take them out it can be for maths it can be for science it can be for language i don't think so subject can be a barrier any subject any topic if we try to take them out it is more uh, helpful for the child he doesn't have to learn it is an automatic process so the burden of learning something deliberately goes off and he automatically imbibes in himself only thing dear teachers we need to be careful because we decide what the future of our country and what the future of that child is so i feel uh, whether the child is important or not um, uh, means intelligent or not intelligent um, we shouldn't go only through academics find what value that child has what qualities that child has and help him to develop that particular thing and nowadays we have changed so much that only bookish knowledge is not important if the child is good at games we need to support him as a teacher and convince the parents which is difficult if the child is good at music at drawing which is not considered no math science is important so as teachers we need to support our child and convince their parents that help the child to go in that particular field so that he is finally happy and gives the best to the world